What's up, everybody? It's Timmy, and we're heading to Hope for opening weekend. Let's go. So we're officially leaving the snow machines behind, and we're heading out. It's kayaking season, baby. It's officially whitewater kayak season, and I'm stoked. I'm super stoked this weekend because it is opening weekend in Hope, Alaska, where the Sea View and uh, all the local businesses open up because they're shut down all winter because there's not a lot of people and tourists. And uh, anyway, the Sea View is opening tonight. It's the first official opening night at the Sea View tonight, which is the local bar kind of right on the water. And uh, I'm gonna go down there and get some dinner. And there's some live music tonight. It's open jam so anyone can play. So I'm gonna go meet up with some friends and uh, go enjoy ourselves. And then we're gonna go whitewater kayaking this weekend. It's gonna be sweet. Let's go. Later, Girdwood. We are on the road, all filled up with fuel. Let's do this. For those of you guys that don't know, Hope, Alaska is across the bay, kind of across from Anchorage, pretty far from town, actually. Uh, but it's an awesome little place, and uh, we're gonna go enjoy it. It's also fishing season. All these people are out here fishing for hooligan. I don't know if you can see them down there. Yep, no, I'm here. There's all the construction crew for the highway right there, just living in a van, baby, down by the river. The whole reason I love going down here is because my favorite river in the state is here, Six Mile Creek, and the uh, town of Hope's just fun. I don't know, I've got a lot of friends that live down there, and so it's, uh, it's a fun place to revisit and uh, catch up. There's still a couple of people snow machining up the mountain over here doing some sled skiing, but we're in turning and pass right now. There's still a pretty good bit of snow. Still a totally reasonable amount of snow. I don't care though, we're putting the snow machines away. It's boating season. Well, here's Six Mile Creek. Still a good bit of snow, but it's melted enough. You can see some ice bridges in the river down there. So we're gonna go roll into Hope tonight and go hit the music. And then tomorrow, we're gonna go paddling, I think is. I think that's gonna be the plan. The river level looks actually pretty good, so I'm stoked. I think it'll be good. We're rolling down into Hope. Literally looks like it's about to rain right now. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully it holds off. There's not many businesses in Hope, but like I was saying, most of these businesses shut down in the winter time just because there's not that many people down this way and they kind of lose their tourism in the winter. There is the creek bend right there. So that's one of the places that's gonna have live music this weekend. There's the Hope Community Library and probably the coffee shop. I'm gonna be getting some coffee in the morning, I imagine. Oh, big bump. We're almost to downtown Hope. There we go. There's the Sea View Cafe down at the end, so we'll go check it out and uh, go get into some shenanigans here. Let's do it. Good morning, everybody. Getting ready for the day. It's a pretty rainy morning here in Hope, Alaska, so I think today I'm going to stay in the camper and work on some editing, some video editing, which I need to do, which takes a long time to do. And uh, tonight, the Sea View Cafe right there is going to have some music. So. That should be a good time. But until then, I'm gonna get some coffee going and uh, a little bit of breakfast and get the day rolling. Coffee time. Let's do some Kaladi Brothers coffee this morning. Kaladi Brothers Red Goat coffee. Stuff's pretty awesome if you never had it. Freaking delicious, it's my favorite coffee. So I'm filming with the Sony a7 III. Really awesome camera, but I'm gonna get the autofocus dialed. I feel like it's not super fast. Like, see, how that takes a second to sharpen up. Takes a second. Takes a long time, so. I gotta play with that. A lot of you guys know I don't really have plumbing in this camper, but I do have a porta potty toilet, and I've got this uh, little hand pump faucet, which is connected to, uh, I'll show you in a second, hold on. Which is connected through this little half inch hose into a seven gallon water jug. So I can just remove the water jug, fill it up anywhere, put it back in there. So pretty simple uh, faucet and water system. And then the toilet down there. So that's the closest thing I have to plumbing. Nothing like a little bit of fried rice for breakfast. Should be good. I forgot to show you guys, but I totally got some truck house live mugs if you guys want them. More than welcome to uh, jump on the Truck House Life Mug train. If you guys do want a Truck House Life Mug or a Truck House Life t-shirt or hoodie or whatever, I got all kinds of stuff 
I just finally finished the website. It's uh, truckhouselife.com. If you go there, I've got all the stuff on there, and it's a great way to get yourself something cool and support the channel and uh, keep the show rolling. Anyway, I'm going to eat and drink. Sit down to a little bit of breakfast. Mmm, mm, magnifico. Oh, yeah. Getting some editing in. So this is the part that you guys don't see. You just see a video come out, but this is all the work I put into it. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of clips. Music, all that stuff. So, these videos don't just pop out of nowhere. Anyhow, the system I'm using is called Final Cut Pro, and I do it on a MacBook Pro. Pretty simple setup. I'm sure it'd be a lot easier to edit on a big desktop computer. It'd be a lot more comfortable, but the nice thing about the this little 13-inch MacBook is I can bring this thing anywhere. Uh, you get an external hard drive, and it holds massive amount of storage for videos. And, uh, yeah, you just edit away. So this is how we're going to spend our day. I need to try to at least edit two videos today, if not three. Uh, that way I can free up next week, because next week I want to put the electric camper jacks on this thing, which is going to be a freaking project, which I'll also document. Anyhow, I'm going to get back to it. I can look here. Oh. Yeah. Well, y'all, I'm pretty beat. I've been editing the last nine hours, so it's time to go start the evening in hope here. There's people rolling into town. Yeah, it's game on. Good morning, world. I had some kayaking buddies that came into town, and I decided let's go whitewater kayaking today. So I came up the road, and I camped out with them. Right here in the lake, we got Paul tripping in. Gonna be a good day out there. A good day, but first, but first we're gonna make some coffee and uh, breakfast. This is gonna be a good day because this is the first weekend of the season for paddling. So I am stoked to be getting back in the water. Hopefully I can still remember how to whitewater kayak. You'll find out today. I'm taking you guys down the infamous Six Mile Creek right here in Hope, Alaska. And uh, it's class four or five. Should be interesting. Let's get some coffee going, uh, see what the boys are up to, and uh, get the day started. And tonight, after we go whitewater kayaking, I'm going to take you guys down to the town of Hope because it is opening weekend in Hope. There's going to be a whole bunch of folks, a whole bunch of live music, and a whole bunch of fun having. So I'll take you guys down there and show you what that's all about. Sorry about my tired face. As some of you guys know, I had a little back breaking accident maybe, I guess, a year and ten months ago. So. I'm still dealing with the repercussions from that. It's making it so I can't run or ski or any of that stuff. So I'm trying to force myself to start doing PT. And I also got a Planet Fitness gym membership now. So I'm going to start trying to get myself back in good shape. Get myself back to where I can do things again. Or I feel like I can do things again. So this is an old Elizabeth Cottonwood song. And my best buddy Johnny Longs wrote a... Uh, a flip on the thing, and uh, now I'm going to write another flip in the thing about the snow machine season because it's come to a close. Well, turbo, turbo, riding so fast, turbo, turbo, drinking my gas, blow a piss into the sky, a new top and don't cry. Snow machine sees it. Let's go kayaking. Hey Trip, what does your license plate stand for again? Oh, a little coffee action. A little coffee action. Oh yeah, what you drinking? We're gonna try this Pike's. Oh, plate. you evil man, Starbucks. Evil man. It is good though. Evil woman. Yeah. Is that, that is a good song. Get away from. Here's our lake. You know what this lake's called? It doesn't have a name. This is who knows lake. 
ready for the day. Everyone's making coffee. Good more friends coming down. Still breakup season as you can tell. It might get a little bit interesting driving the truck up the hill because we had to move some branches. So I had to have a friend hold some branches when I was coming down it to fit the uh, truck house under. So we'll see. Anyway, we'll get all the gear drying out. Still pretty chilly. Like 38 degrees. Ready to start the day. How many kayakers can you fit in a truck? Wait for it. Half slice for the win. Oh, it's that I don't know. Looks like it's in. It's four kayaks in a five foot bed. Watch out. Yeah, how's that looking? <laughs> oh. Oh. All right, packing in. A bunch of snow. Down, and then, you know, the climb it up onto the plateau. Oh, I, I can't see for minimal. Here we go with the put in. We're going to do it. And you're like, look at this. You're like, I can't. Oh, you get stuck because you're like, the first time I seen my bike, I bought from a buddy and I like put it on, stood up, and it's like, yeah, this is great. Nobody told me you need to like sit down and go into a ball. Like, I don't know. I, I can't speak for Go to Boston Bar. Didn't come with you because he doesn't want to vote. Yeah. How are you awake right now? All right, Boston <laughs> Bar. We'll see you down there. Or I'll, I'll, just see, I'll, I'll see you guys at third canyon. Third canyon. Oh yeah, more I'll time. Go surfing. Yeah, there you go. The, yep. Smart the man. <laughs> Smart man down there. Your front left tire's low. It is a little low. It is. No, it just looks that way. The husky dogs. That's cool. Dog team. Hook them up and have them swim down for us and pull you. Oh. Yo, your uh, your drain plug's out. Yo, yo, Woo! drain plug. It's like barely saw it. This one's hard to get in. Jesus. All right, you're solid. Let's see what the old water level is doing today. Huh. It's like about nine foot three, which is uh, I don't know. It's like eight or nine hundred cfs still pretty low actually for this time of year it's like the middle of may right now this is the most snow i've seen in the middle of may in a really long time it's pretty nuts it's going to be a really uh slow melt season it's really cold out anyway this is six mile creek we're approaching uh boston bar where this big avalanche comes down and uh right around the corner from boston bar is the second canyon should be fun today so we're gonna go hit the second and third canyon of six mile basically really grateful to be here Hope the river shows us all good lines, keeps us safe, and uh, let's do it. Ooh, it's a big old slide. You ever done this and there's a big tunnel here? You paddle under the tunnel? Oh, yep. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it could. There's nothing stopping it. How much do you want to bet Ian's going to paddle into that eddy? He's like new enough to Alaska where he's like, ah, it's really cool. Yeah, it's spicy. That's a lot of snow. Can you imagine your friends trying to dig you out down here? <laughs> All right, we're here. Boston Bar, big avalanche shoot up here. Who wouldn't want to be in that avalanche? I'll tell you right now. Uh, second Canyon's right around the corner. Let's go get into it. It's the first rapid pearly gates right down here. gates right here it kind of guards the entrance to the big rapid downstream the nozzle Whoa. <laughs> flirting with the edge <laughs> Paul's doing it too <laughs> 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 That's what's up. <laughs> this rapid is the nozzle. It's a little bit twisted. You'll find out in a second when we go down. Hopefully not in a bad way. The water's just kind of pulling you left and right a whole bunch. Mostly to places you don't want to be. So you could try to stay in the center and ride the curlers. It doesn't 
looked like a fun eddy hopping boat. This one doesn't really have much of a name. It just pulls into that left wall right there. Catches a lot of people off guard if you don't stay right. And right down here, we got the old anvil. It's kind of a narrow squeeze that smashes into the right wall at the base. Kind of a weird pinch in the wall. Usually if there's any wood, it'll get shocked up in this one. Keep your eyes out. So that pocket right there doesn't look like much, but a lot of people hit that thing. It's kind of pushing into it. All right, and this is one of basically the last rapids down here. You go do the main line off the ledge. Keep your bow up, a little bit of speed. Canyon surfing wave. So that is the second canyon takeout. The last chance to get out before the third canyon, which is uh, where we're going right now. We're getting down to the third canyon, getting close. Staircase rapid coming up. This is the biggest rapid on the river. You can always tell it's just got this big island rock. Pretty much two separate drops. Kind of a tight slot up top we're gonna get through first. All right. Best run in Alaska, the bread and butter. rapids over the years. It's a pretty big hole at the bottom of this thing. It's usually pretty uh, flushy though. Here's the top part. A little bit of wood in here. There used to be a huge rock right there. Whoa. Right in the meat. <laughs> yeah, Tyler in the meat. <laughs> This one's jaws down here. This one at low water is a little bit uh a little bit junky. It's a lot of rocks and places you don't want to be.
And then personally, my favorite surfing wave in the river is right down here. Let's see if we can catch it. Nothing too special, it's just a nice green wave. Let's see if we can get on it. Yeah. just behind him. Son. Is that Henry's van? Well, looks like it. I think it is. Success. Oh, there he is. <laughs> so technically, you swam. You did technically uh, swim. Yeah. I love it when sponges get, you know, two or three years old and actually start absorbing water. <sighs> Good run, boys. Well, that was great. Successful day. Great first paddle weekend of the season. I'm going to load the boat and go get into some other shenanigans this afternoon, other adventures. Then we'll head into the town of Hope and uh, go catch some music. Ever since that back injury, I haven't been able to do a bunch of cardio, trail running and stuff like I used to do. Feeling winded. And we're home. Well, that's a wrap, y'all. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you did, smash the like button down there. Subscribe to the channel, blah, 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 all the things. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace, y'all.